welcome back to Dad's Garage. It's been a while since I posted a video. The last video was the decals last summer. Jake's mostly been sitting here in the garage, comfy, uh, for the winter. Got a new Dad's Garage edition from the girl's grandma for Christmas. Well, that's pretty cool. So the only thing I've really done this so far and I was going to even wait till it's warmer. It's still March and it's in the 30s. But um, I went ahead and pulled off the dash, laid the windshield down. Well, yeah, laid the windshield down, pulled off the dash. Then I took all the bolts out and pulled the, the dash out um, because I had ordered all new heater cables. So all these cables now are new. And the switch is new. The one's out because I was driving it yesterday with the top off and the heat was on. I also took out the clock, which you couldn't even see before, and basically just buffed it with rubbing compound. So now you can see the clock again. Um, had to order a new heater switch and knob. I was very fortunate just to find one lone wire hanging down below the motor in the engine bay there. Hooked it to the heater, and when I... Got everything put back together. I turned it and all three speeds work and it works. There's no leaks. I was surprised. It works really good. I did bust off the carb check thing there. I'm going to have to glue that back on. But anyway, I've got roll bar padding coming and a brand new best top super top soft top. So that will be part of this video. Um, when they get here and I put them on, I'll video more. And we're putting on the top, the super top. So first thing was to mount these brackets. You can see this bracket here with this piece for the bar to go in. They had this little round cut out. I think these may have been for the for a YJ too, because the YJ has the uh, roll pet, roll bars that come up and connect to the windshield. So. This had another piece going way out here that interfered with my visor brackets. The instructions do say take the visor off to put it on, but that piece went right out there and was right in the way, and it would have had the visor uneven. So I just took it over to my little cutoff saw and cut it off there. So it fits better. I also left these on. These are from whatever top was on here before, um, but I think they'll give a more solid place for the door. But they were up too high. They interfered with this. So I actually cut that off a bit too. And we'll see. They may stay on. They may, if they interfere with the door, they'll come off obviously. But I think it'll give it a more sturdy place to seal. Anyway, that's it for now. Moving on to the rails. Moving right along. Got the side rails. Corner side rails. I love how this, everything's powder coated. This is a super nice kit. Got the little bracket on. Come on. There for the vertical rod. Actually, the yeah, the vertical rod. Everything, everything's still loose because I got to put the bows on next. Maybe you can see this better here. Ah, dang, it's just too dark. Anyway, that's the bracket that the bar for the door bolts into. So next will be the bow. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait till it's 70 degrees, or at least warmer than this, to try and get the top on, the actual top. Oh, still got to do the doors. I test fitted one, and they didn't really slide down in there. I think it's because of the powder coating. I'll take some emery cloth and clean up those pins so I can fit it in there. Okay, so I just want to do uh, have a little rant about these best top doors. Love the door, love the built-in handle, love how everything's powder coated. Everything else on the Jeep fit perfect, but these pins were powder coated and just way, way too big to go down into the hinges. So as you see, I've had to take my little DA and grind these suckers down so they'll even fit in there, and then it's still super tight. So again, I suspect if I had the YJ, that probably would have popped right in. I think this top is more geared to the YJ. But anyway, a little extra work and we'll have them mounted. Okay, I got the frame on and one door fitting very nicely. Um, it was a bugger, like I said. 
and it opens nice now and it's got the rails to butt up against. It'll be, hard, it'll be easier to tell how it's going to fit when the actual top's on. But anyway, I'm happy with those. They look nice. Way better than my other ratty ones that uh, they had the square corner, which this has to have the round. Um, if I, these would have had a round corner, I could have just bought a top without the doors, but they didn't and they're pretty beat up and I don't know why it won't focus. Anyway, that's it for now. Okay, so the frame is on, the bow system is up, both doors are on and fitting nicely. Um, like I said earlier, it's too cold to get the soft top out and actually throw it on, but everything's ready. Um, I'll fold those bows back down because I may be driving around topless till then. But anyway, I'm going to put that on the, that and the roll bar cushion will be on the next video because I try and keep these about six, seven minutes long and I'm probably pushing that. So overall, I really liked this kit. I can't wait to get the top on. It's going to be cool. I'll get it on just in time for summer and take it off. Anyway, see you next time in Dad's Garage.